What's up guys, 223 Frank the Tank here with another VTOL VR video. I'm going to be showing you guys an overview introduction of the F45A which is a F35 lookalike stealth fighter. So let's check it out. I'm going to be doing the basics on startup and how to take it off. And then we'll very lightly brush on some VTOL flying and basics of VTOL maybe in a second video because that's kind of in-depth so we're gonna keep it lightweight and not have any weapons in here besides a cannon we'll keep a cannon and uh... we won't go full on the fuel let's do it now this is pretty awesome because it's got a fully glass cockpit just like the real F-35. It's got a special map for the quick flight, little training flights. So here we are on the plane. And uh, basically very similar to the F-A-26, except you just have one engine, so it's a little bit easier to start up even. So let's adjust our controls to our liking. Right, right about here. That's pretty good. That was good. All right, let's turn on the engine. That's pulling up, and then here, this is your HUD, which is technically on your helmet. Let's turn on the power, and then uh, so we're gonna see a little bit. Turn off our APU because the engine's on. Cover up the engine, and then uh. We're going to turn on our lights, navigation, strobe, leave the landing off, fuel port closed, cable hook uh, up, VCAP we don't need that right now, that's for when we get into landing on a ship. So here we'll turn on our radar, boom, everything is touch screen with this plane, there's basically no, um, no buttons except for the basic functions over here. So. RWR is on. We'll have a nav map as well, and uh, we don't really need much, <laughs> much else. We got our tactical situation display TSD, but you don't really need that until combat. This kind of combines radar with RWR into a whole little tactical panel, so you can kind of have like a quick look of everything that's going on currently in the battle battle space, and uh, pretty useful for once you get into some you know big engagements so this is cool this is your built-in targeting pod which if you don't know on the F-35 is below here on the bottom it's a little glass canopy that's right underneath not a canopy but a little bubble that's right underneath the plane it's a built-in sensor based off of the sniper pod which is used on the F-16s and F-18s I believe and uh, yeah really cool stuff so let's uh copy Tactics also take off. Two, five. So uh our break is right here. Let's do it. We're just gonna be in normal mode, we're not in VTOL mode really. Well I got a cord in my way. Let me let me let me move that real quick. The only problem I have with the rift Headset is how much the cord gets in your way sometimes. So let's do it. So I was a little bit in an uncomfortable spot for me because I didn't really center my seat very well when I started this. So we're going to taxi left over here. Just follow that path. Really cool plane. Big bubble canopy. Base off the F 35. It's stealth completely. You've got internal storage for weapons with optional hard points on the outside if you want to. And uh, we can control the angle of our, um, well, the tilt angle for our engine using the thumbstick on your throttle controller. But So we're going to adjust it to about 45 degrees so we can have a short takeoff. So let's slow it down. Now you do notice that this plane does not have flaps. Alpha one, one, tower 
cleared for takeoff at runway two five. So you'll notice that we don't have flaps in this bird because you, you really don't need it at all in this plane. Here you go. Let's get our tilt up to 45 degrees. And we're just going to throttle up. We're just going to be a real short takeoff. Look at that. That does the trick. And we can slowly feed the nozzle backwards as we gain airspeed. Landing gear. Feed the nozzle back very slowly. Make sure you're staying positive on your vertical and you know your lift indicator. And just feeding the nozzles very slowly. Nice short takeoff. Did not take much at all. Maybe 50 feet of runway at most. And we're just slowly feeding back the nozzles all the way back to zero. Now we don't have to worry about that. We could just gain speed normally like a regular aircraft. So there you, go. you can make that bigger. If you want to make this bigger, if you want to make it wider, you could really do anything with this. So really cool stuff. <laughs> you know, you could put your RWR in this. Do really whatever you want. <laughs> Honestly, we could put our comms down here. And RWR, the, 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 the possi possibilities are limitless, you just have to play around, see what you like. We've got your attitude indicator right here, it shows our heading, but obviously the most accurate is to, there you go, touch the side of your head and boom, you've got your, uh, your built-in helmet, HUD and everything. Now, that's what the F-35 is known for in real life, is uh, having a $2 million helmet or something crazy, or like 400000 Either way, it was really expensive. Yeah, it was $400,000 for each helmet, and that's because in real life, the helmet sees through the plane, so if we were to use this and put it to head, look at that, you see through the plane. Isn't that crazy? And then you've got your gimbal in it because obviously it's on the bottom of the plane so it can't look upwards. But you're generally not going to be looking <laughs> upwards when uh, when you're, uh, what's it called, dropping bombs or whatnot. So we're at a pretty, pretty sharp climb at 10 degrees. You can kind of even it out and try to gain some speed. Got your burners as well. Use those at your discretion. Obviously, it's going to burn a lot more fuel when you're in burner compared to just flying normally. So let's go back to the airfield we came from. See, so your brake works the same way. I believe we came from over there. Yeah. Heck, we might even have some ships to land on if we really wanted to. This thing can do whatever you want, want it to do. So let's use this as a sense of interest and try and find the airport because I'm not exactly sure where it's at. I think it might be right here. That might be a town. Yep, there's the airport. Or the airfield, air base, whatever you want to call it. GPSN, and then we're gonna. Um, that's gonna be a waypoint. What's it called? There we go. That's our RTB waypoint. So there's the airport. We're gonna slow her down a little bit into landing speed. Now, obviously you can land as like a regular bird. You don't need to land VTOL. I could demonstrate a VTOL takeoff after we land. But I'm just going to land it normally. 
get it slowed down, get in line nicely. Gears gonna come down. I don't know what kind of waypoint it's got all the way over there. Let me just reset that or get rid of it. I don't know. Nah. I forgot how to clear it. What I should be doing is pay attention. <laughs> so obviously you're going to use your velocity indexer to pay attention to where you're bringing it down. You're going to give it some more power. Get that on the edge of the runway. This flies pretty well at low air speeds. Slow down. Flare. super smooth but smooth enough there you go slow her down should see how far back I have to hold my arm to be able to reach that I wonder if there's an option to move that up I'm not really sure uh, so let's do it <clears throat> let's uh, grab this and we're going to use our nozzle and tilt it all the way to 90 degrees vertical. And you want to treat this like a helicopter. You want to slowly feed in the throttle. And once you start feeling like similar ground effect, but not quite like ground effect. Now you do need a good thrust to weight ratio to be able to take off vertically. So we're just slowly feeding in power. Tilt the nose forward to start moving forward. Tilt it back to even out. Tilt the left to try and go left. Collision warning. We're gonna have to give it more power. So let's put gear up. And you want to slowly tilt forward, and gain airspeed, and just give it some. Uh, Landing gear. Oh, that's a little too much. Landing gear. <laughs> it's still tricky to take off Landing vertically gear. but as long as you start getting your forward momentum Landing going gear. that's when you can start feeding in the nozzles so we did that a little sketchy but yeah we survived so there we go and now uh, look at that cool little city over there I haven't really explored much of this map yet because I haven't really done too much with uh, of this plane. So there's clear waypoint, altitude mode. That's for your autopilot stuff. Let's try and make it through that little oil rig. I might kill us, but that's okay. That'll just be the end of the episode right here. Sorry for me sounding a little nasally. I'm a little congested for some reason. So we're 20 feet off the ground, off the water, my bad. Just gonna go full speed through that oil rig right there. 15 feet off, 10 feet off. Wow. I'm sure we're skinny enough. Look at that. I'm sure, they pissed themselves. Themselves. It's just beautiful being in VR. Honestly, is craziest thing so we've got a carry up ahead I could kind of demonstrate a v-cap I haven't really used it much but uh, the premise of it is that um, you throttle forward to start moving forward and you throttle back to move backwards stick back to pull up 
stick down to lower altitude. But like I said, I haven't really played around with it much, so I can't really speak on it. Lower our gear. It's got to slow down. Burn off our energy. Bleed off our forward momentum. It's a little pirouette maneuver. Try and bleed off airspeed and altitude to get closer to the carrier. There's a wake. We're going to get down there. Try to line ourselves up with the carrier. Or alongside the carrier, I should say. Make sure you don't go too low on your negative vertical. You don't want to drop like a brick. And there we go. We're going to let it drop a little bit. Not even sure where the carrier is at. There it is. See so Miguel alongside the carrier. And try this whole VCAP business. So stick forward to lower the plane, I believe. A little confusing, but I might just switch to regular, <laughs> regular mode. Oof! Look at me being all confused. I'm supposed to be the flight instructor, am I right? <laughs> so there's a speed pretty matched. We want to stick forward to go down, stick backwards to raise altitude, you, you see how it goes. Throw it back to kind of slow down, throw it forward to speed up. It takes a little bit of fine work, but it's not too bad. There we go. I'll just let it settle down. Boom. That was actually quite simple. Let's turn on that brake before we fly off the carrier. And uh, yeah. I prefer, I'm knowing how to fly helicopters, I, I kind of prefer just flying VTOL normally and not using VCAP, but it's really up to personal preference and how much you practice with it. So it's all down to practice, getting good with these planes and all that. So um, yeah, that, that'll be part one of the introduction, start up and a little bit of VTOL, trying like the basics of VTOL and feeding in slowly the nozzles to, you know, get forward momentum not all at once and just little things to practice and uh, that's basically it let's open up the canopy and get some fresh air check it out just toast forward and there's our big old brakes let's shut off that engine <laughs> that's the engine cover actually so it's because I left the tilt all the way up like that I don't think there's going to be hydraulic power to do it I don't know, we're good so yeah, there's the part one I hope you guys enjoyed it let's uh, yeet out of there and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out